everybody, it's Ryer Appledorn, and I'm coming to you from the Turtle Room, uh, where I have all of my turtles. One of my other hobbies is I, I have quite a few semi-aquatic um, reptiles, and one uh, fully land. This guy. I just want to make a quick video saying thank you so much to Big Ken uh, 62 and to all of the people um, who have subscribed to me because of his shout out. I really appreciate it, man. That was really kind of you and um, the amount of people who have subscribed to me and commented on my two videos um, has like gone up by a factor of 10. Um, so I really appreciate the shout out. I can't wait uh, to start following all you guys, seeing the projects you're working on, all that cool stuff. Um, so far what I've seen is really, really awesome. <clears throat> One of the guys who um, I've been checking out his videos is Benny Mac Attack, and he's working on a, um, a Zombie Hunter Merc. Uh, I really like the Zombie Hunter, and I have one uh, in the works now. So just like with all the builds I have going on, this one's got quite a long way to go until it's done. I've only got the body finished, and I've done a little work to the interior and the chassis. Uh, but this is based off of uh, Monogram's 55 Chevy Bel Air convertible. And, um, you know, I've been really playing around with, you know, kind of molding the styrene and sculpting it. And uh, so I, I, I'm i thinking, that, you know, this is going to be a zombie hunter. It's going to be totally beat up. It's got huge fat tires that I'm using for it. I'm going to be putting um, some fuzz and fur on it. So it's kind of like a beastie. Um... <clears throat> But uh, we'll see. I don't know. I've just, like I said, just been playing around. I have not been uh, devoting all my time to this. Uh, most of my time's been going. Most of my time has been going into uh, AMT's 1950 3100 pickup truck and um, my AMT Christine and um, another Bel Air that I'm haven't really talked about that much. Anyway, so I just started building this for the you know, the sake of exploring the genre, and I had the extra kit laying around, I didn't have any plans for it, so uh, I wasn't too worried about, you know, if I messed it up or whatever, and I, I really like the kit as it is now, and I, now that I've played with it a bit, I think I might go and pick up another one, um, try and make something fun out of it. Anyway, as I've been building this, I thought it's been really funny because it reminded me of a model that I built when I was probably 10 years old, and, um, that was this little HO thing. I started modeling with railroading equipment, and this one uh, was a very, you know, a very crude example of um, my early years of making model trains. And this one was a kit bash, and I thought it'd be funny to put, you know, parts from model airplane kits, um, you know, and then and then you know repaint it. And so this is a really terrible rattle can paint job. Uh, I really just you know bombed it with three or four layers of paint. And, um, you know, I liked it. I thought it was a fun idea at the time, and you know, looking at it now, um, I, I would absolutely build something like this again. Although I, I think I'd be a bit more careful about it and be a little more careful with my painting and everything, and also with the details. Um, another one I built was this one, which is a, a, a you know, a wreck of an engine. It's totally, you know, bombed out and horrific. And the idea behind this one really was, you know, it caught on fire because, well, I was 10 years old and I was using solvents. These things happen. Um, but I thought it could be used as something, so I attempted to weather it and, um, you know, turn into this post-apocalyptic fallout kind of engine, you know. So you have these two basically zombie hunter models. I think it's really interesting, um, you know, how far my model making skills have come in the past years. You know, I'm building things that are cleaner and better painted, even though this might not be the best example of that. Um, but still, there's a lot of the same kind of subject matter going on. And so I think that's really interesting. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. And a big thanks again to Big Ken 62 for the shout out. And thanks to everybody who's been subscribing to me. I'm working on checking out all your channels. I, I love all the projects that I'm seeing so far. And, um, you know, I can't wait to start meeting more of you. So thanks again, and I'll talk with you later.